Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to my course aspects of biochemical engineering. Now today uh, I think last couple of lectures uh, I try to discuss transport phenomena as I uh, as I told you that uh, transport phenomena is very important uh, uh, that uh, uh, unit operation process that is involved in chemical and biochemical industries. Now uh, this transport phenomena that uh, comprises of uh, uh, transfer uh, transportation of the different transportation mechanism of the process and this uh, th and three different uh, mode of uh, transfer phenomena is there one is momentum transfer and there is uh, <coughs> uh, mass transfer and there is energy transfer or heat transfer now we already discussed the momentum transfer which uh, which deals with mostly the flow of the fluid and through the, through the flow of the fluid we can have the mixing of the of the liquid mixing of the solute in the liquid and uh, and also it uh, it involves the mixing time determination in the last uh, lecture uh, we try to find out what is the uh, power minimum power requirement for the for the minimum mixing time that you know those kind of information we can generate from that. After that I, I try to discuss the heat transfer or um, um, the heat transfer basically it is very important in the in the biochemical industry because because <coughs> because it, re, it, it required the environmental parameter for the microorganism plays very vital role. Uh, one, so one important parameter is the temperature. And, uh, and as we know that uh, the biochemical reaction mostly they are exothermic in nature. So, exothermic means heat liberating that you know that uh, process that we have and most of the biochemical process usually operated in between 30 to 35 degree centigrade. So, particularly when we are since we are in the tropical country our ambient temperature particularly in the summer season is quite high. So, we required a lot of cooling arrangement particularly during summer season and for winter season we, we required some kind of heating uh, of the of the, uh, the fermenter to maintain the temperature because those things is very, very that you know we determine on the basis of heat transfer and this heat transfer also involves the sterilization of the process because I told you that sterilization means uh, that we we are killing all the microorganism present in the liquid so that our desired organism can grow in the in the particular media so that we can get the desired product. So uh, so heat transfer plays very important role in the last uh, 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 lectures. I try to discuss the heat transfer, how we design the length of a uh, that cooling uh, coil uh, and also the temperature of the outgoing liquid in the cooling coil. So, those those problem we try to solve in the last lecture. Now, today I am going to discuss another very interesting topic what you call mass transfer and mass transfer it is always required uh, usually take place the transfer of the mass between the phases. As for example, that we know that most of the uh, microbial fermentation process they are aerobic in nature and aerobic fermentation process we required uh, dissolved oxygen because in the fermentation media because microorganism can utilize the oxygen which is dissolved in the fermentation media. So, that uh, plays very important role. So, so uh, how we increase the dissolved oxygen concentration we pass the air through the media so that uh, the air oxygen present in the air as it transferred in the liquid. So, that push, that part I say I am going to discuss today. Now, first let me discuss that what is what do you mean by mass transfer. Now, here you see that mass transfer basically uh, it is the transfer it is the net movement of the mass from one location 
usually the meaning of stream phase or fraction or component to another so i i i was talking about suppose this is a vessel and this is a liquid we have we are sparging air so air air bubble is going out this is air in and so when it goes then oxygen present in the air that goes to the liquid that is the so this is remain oxygen present in the gaseous form gaseous phase and it coming to the liquid phase so this kind of example that we have then mass transfer plays important role in the aerobic culture where oxygen is purged downstream processing and other downstream processing like crystallization crystallization we know that you know crystal um, that crystal formation that means from the soluble uh, liquid that at low temperature the crystal formation take place i can give a very typical very easy uh, the simple instance that is the sugar crystals we can if we keep it at low temperature then crystallization of the sugar that take place then we have distillation there also we <coughs> we we distill the liquid from one phase to other that uh, from uh, we, we we liquid to vapor and vapor evaporation etc mass transfer effect plays a very important role in the immobilized um, and whole cell system this also i discuss when i when i uh, discuss the immobilized enzyme and immobilized whole cell system and i told you that particularly uh, that in case of enzyme uh, suppose we are handling the soluble enzymes and uh, major drawback of the enzymatic uh, process is that after the reaction is over uh, that uh, enzyme remain an impurities in the reaction mixture so you have to you have to you have to you have to purify you have to take the enzyme out from the reactor that is again that incurred some additional expenditure so by this can be avoided by using immobilized enzyme because if you if you fix the enzyme on a solid matrix and pass the substrate through the column your substrate will be converted to product so you don't like you don't have to separate the uh, the enzyme from the liquid mixture but the problem is that as soon as you immobilized the the soluble enzymes will will be will fix on the solid matrix the insoluble solid matrix so it is a heterogeneous system and heterogeneous system i told you that uh, the heterogeneous system major uh, factor that it plays important role that is the diffusion problem so that the uh, mass transfer effect is very important in the immobilization enzyme and the whole cell system now what do you mean by molecular mass transfer this uh, this is a very uh, very simple example i have given the net movement of the molecules or atom from a region of high concentration or high chemical potential to the region of low co uh, concentration potential like this suppose uh, here uh, some concentrated you know that uh, solute is there or solution is there so if you keep it then slowly slowly is diffused uniformly throughout the liquid like this so this is this is kind of um, what you call molecular transfer that uh, take place now fick's law we know th this is uh, th uh, uh, use uh, for explaining the how this uh, mass transfer take place the law states that the molecular flux of a space is relative to a observer moving with molar average velocity is proportional to the concentration gradient of the spaces the, uh, so uh, so what is happening that uh, molar average velocity molar uh, what is the what is the what is the velocity velocity is the is the is the length per unit time am i right so um, molar average velocity that you know here here actually that depends on the proportional to the concentration gradient of the spaces now a diffuse let us let us take the example a is diffuse in a binary mixture a plus b and then according to the fick's law the flux of a can be expressed like this z a z a is proportional to this is the concentration gradient and this is x is the is is the is the distance that you know that uh, so uh, the so this is equal to that uh, d in da in dab is the is the constant what we consider as the diffusibility diffusivity or diffusion coefficient so za that rate of mass flux of a can be expressed at minus 
DAB, DCA by DCX. Now, question why this negative term is coming? Because concentration of the uh, always movement of the solute they take place from the high concentration to low concentration. That is why this negative term has come. Now, this is the, the fixed law, uh, fixed uh, diffusion flux is positive by convection. And since the diffusion occurs spontaneously in the direction of decreasing concentration, the negative sign is incorporated. This, this is the high concentration and this is the low concentration. This is how the negative term has come. Now, diffusivity that depends on temperature uh, that uh, like this, DA, DAP is proportional to T to the power 3 by 2 by P. So, this is how this is ga gas phase diffusivity. Another is the liquid based diffusivity DAB equal to T by mu. This mu is the viscosity of the liquid, here is the P is the pressure of the gas. The role of diffusivity in the bio process is the micro scale mixing, solid phase the reaction and the uh, mass transfer across the phase boundary. So, three different things simultaneously take place then micro scale mixing, then solid phase reaction and the mass across the phase boundary. Now, let us first discuss the convective uh, mass transfer. The mechanism uh, similar to the free convection heat transfer, I think the last lecture I tried to discuss the difference between the convection and con conduction and the radiation uh, with respect to extinguishing a fire from a water source. So, here that uh, the mechanism is similar to convection the heat transfer in which the density difference causes the by the temperature. So, in case of heat transfer we have temperature difference that is the gradient and here the density uh, that is the gradient is the concentration gradient here you use. The free convection mass transfer is the concentration difference create the density difference and convective uh, mass transfer is strongly influenced by the fluid uh, flow field that you know how liquid is flowing that strongly I shall, I shall give you a lot of examples so that this conception will be clear to you. Now, this is the first example I can give you this con convective mass transfer. Now, this is the sugar cube you can see this is the sugar cube we, we keep the sugar cube in two different fashion. One is this is a hanging fashion. You see that we just hang the sugar cube in the in in a solution. Then what is happening? This uh, there there will be convection current. This is will will the the concentration will go like this. It, this kind of convection current is uh, will <coughs> the high concentration to low concentration. This will occur. But when and, and this uh, the sugar cube is kept in suspension in water and natural convection occurs. But when it gives a, at the bottom, we are touching the bottom surface, then a small sugar cube rests on at the bottom of the beaker, natural convection does not occur because one side is blocked. So, natural convection will be affected by that. Now, convective uh, mass transfer coefficient, uh, how we can write the transfer rate is the proportional to transfer area and driving force that you know that uh, that uh, I hope uh, uh, that we understand that uh, in suppose um, suppose there is a liquid and the liquid there is a bubble. So, um, we want to if you want to transfer oxygen this uh, gas to uh, liquid it depends on two factors the one is uh, that the driving force the driving force means concentration gradient and another is the transfer area the more area mode will be the mass transfer. So, this is like this the proportional coefficient in this equation is called the mass transfer coefficient. So, so transfer rate equal to mass transfer coefficient into uh, into uh, into transfer rate and into driving force. So, this is and the, this can be explained expressed like this mathematically. A, the, uh, if we consider the mass transfer of A, we, Na is equal to K, K is the mass transfer coefficient, A K is the mass transfer coefficient and A is the area and, uh, and, uh, and this is the driving force that we have. Now, N A is the rate of uh, rate of mass transfer that uh, and K is the mass transfer coefficient as I told you A is the uh, area uh, available for the mass transfer and this area always we express like this. What is this? That uh, surface area per unit volume of the of the um, 
of, of the of, of the particular uh, material that you know that per unit uh, volume that how much is the surface area and C A 0 is the bulk surface concentration of A and C A i is the interfacial con interfacial concentration always less than the bulk surface concentration. So, it is C A 0 minus C A i. Now, let us see the how the transfer take place mass transfer in the aerobic uh, fermentation process gas liquid mass transfer. Gas, uh, gas liquid mass transfer is important in the bio process because the requirement of oxygen in the aerobic fermentation I told you this is the limiting factor as the as per the biochemical industries is or the microbial fermentation is concerned. So, this is the gas phase, this is the uh, concentration of oxygen in the gas phase, this is the concentration of oxygen at the, at, the, at the phase boundary between the liquid and gas and this is the concentration of oxygen at the phase boundary in the liquid phase and this is the bulk. Am I right? Let us assume A is the transfer A transfer from gas phase into the liquid phase and the concentration of A in the liquid phase is C A L in the bulk in the bulk and C A L I at the interface I showed you before and in the gas phase it is C A Z in the bulk and C A G I is at the interface. Then what is the the rate of mass transfer A through the gas boundary layer is what will be that N A G that mass transfer take place in the gaseous phase is K G into A C A G minus C A I. Okay. And uh, this will be but in case of liquid phase the interfacial oxygen concentration will be higher as compared to bulk because it is trans mass transfer take place from the gas phase to the liquid phase. So, C N A N A L equal to K L A into C A I C L A L I minus C A L. Mass transfer uh, C A I and C A L I this uh, these two are in equilibrium and they can be related by using distribution coefficient uh, from the distribution law C A, A G I equal to M into that how much of uh, that oxygen present in the gas layer that means dissolve in the in the in the liquid layer that is m is the distribution coefficient that we have now rearranging the above equations we will we'll come across this kind of correlation n a equal to that uh, this uh, n a into 1 k g a m by k l a is c a g m into c a l and in case of uh, other equation we can n a, a, a 1 by m k g a 1 by k l a you know c a g m by l into k l a this equation we can derive from that. Now, this equation if you look at this equation that uh, from this equation we can write uh, that uh, 1 k this 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 is this whole portion where what we can write this we can write 1 overall that overall this we can write this overall gas phase mass transfer coefficient kg that is capital kga not say this is small kga and this is capital this is overall. Now, this will be equal to 1 by k small kga by plus m by small kla, but similarly overall the liquid phase mass transfer coefficient can be expressed this is like this. So, we can write that uh, we have this equation that is the rate of mass transfer gas liquid system can therefore, is using the two equation N A equal to K G A C A G minus M into A C A L and N A equal to K L A uh, C A G by M and on the basis of uh, uh, gas phase and the on the basis of liquid phase that we can we can express this equation in the two way. Now, mass equation are usually expressed uh, using the equilibrium concentration you can the express as that m c a l equal to c dash a g a. this is the equilibrium concentration. So, c a g by m equal to c star a, a l that we can write like this equal under equilibrium conditions. Now, now this equation can be rewrite in this form n a equal to k g a this is the overall uh, mass transfer in the gas phase overall mass transfer liquid phase C A G minus C A G star A. So, mass transfer in the uh, uh, has two cases 
A first case if you look at when a solution is very soluble in liquid for example transfer of ammonia to water the liquid side resistance is small as compared to posed by the by the gas interface because where the solubility is more then uh, the resistance will be less therefore gas phase resistance rate limiting is the kg a, a, a equal to capital kg a equal to small kg a so we can write na equal to small kg a cag minus ca dash when your solute is largely soluble in in the liquid phase now in the second case if a is poorly soluble in liquid this is another case poorly soluble in liquid as for example oxygen in the aqueous solution the liquid phase mass transfer resistance dominates and there that we can write k capital kla equal to small kla and rate of mass transfer can be written like this so that is that that happens that is controlling by the liquid phase in when when gas is highly soluble that that control by the gaseous phase so this this we can the kl is very important design for the aerobic fermentation process and kla we consider as the volumetric mass transfer coefficient now oxygen uh, uh, transfer from the gas bubble to the cell that can be has eight different steps transfer from the interior to the bubble in the gas liquid interface i i hope uh, let me show you the diagram then then things will be very clear this is like this this is the, you see this is the gas bubble here am i right this is the gas bubble so it is going it is first layer then it is come this is the bulk of the liquid so <coughs> then it it goes inside and slowly slowly is entered into the cell this is the again here you see this is the uh, the we have uh, this is the liquid film that we have across the uh, cell and this is the liquid solid interface here and this is the individual cells that present inside the microorganism that is uh, that how it occurs now um, uh, this is in case of uh, cell when remain in a clump uh, individual cells if you consider it comes like this this is the individual cells it comes this is the um, this is the liquid film and this enter into the system and individual cells act, the the attack like this so here this is considered as the gas liquid um, interface and this is the liquid liquid film that we have and this is um, this is the uh, this is how transfer inside the cell so when you when you come when you consider that uh, <coughs> these steps so this can be written like this transfer from the interior of the bubble the we are, we can we can write the transfer of oxygen from the interior of the bubble to the gas liquid phase and movement across the gas liquid phase diffusion through the relatively stagnant liquid film surrounding the bubble then transport through the bulk liquid diffusion through the relatively stagnant liquid film surrounding the cell movement across the cell liquid cell interface and if the cells are in a in a flow clump or solid particle diffusion through the solid to individual cells and transport through the cytoplasm to the site of reaction so there are there there are eight different steps involved through which that this transfer can be can take place i have i i want to give you a very typical example that is how the kla can be estimated um, in in the in our in our laboratory this is the method that is largely used for what we call dynamic gassing out technique now what is what we do uh, basically it is like this this is the fermenter this is the fermenter this is the aeration we have so what you what you can do we have we have here we have a probe what is the this is called dissolved oxygen do probe dissolved oxygen probe so it it monitor there is a monitor it monitored that uh, concentration of uh, of uh, of oxygen now this concentration is expressed on the basis of percentage the scale is 0 to 100 now how you how you do that suppose th this is the uh, this is the media you have taken media and uh, and then what you do you sparge initially you sparge nitrogen sterile nitrogen then you 
take it out then you will find that dissolved oxygen concentration keep on decreasing and a time will come when it will constant that is the that you set it is zero now then then and then again you spark this is replaced by air you spark air and you will find the dissolved oxygen concentration will increase a time will come when it will be fixed that will adjust to 100 so when is 100 that corresponding to the saturated dissolved oxygen concentration so what i can if you if you go through any kind of handbook hand uh, chemical handbook you can easily find out at different temperature what is the dissolved oxygen concentration in water so if you know the percentage it's about 90 percent then you, you just multiply it by saturated dissolved oxygen concentration you will get the what actual dissolved oxygen concentration in the liquid so this can be done very easily now here the experiment that we have conducted by using saccharomyces cerevisiae temperature 30 to 35 degree centigrade air sparse through the media one fraction remain in the broth and certain amount of utilized by the cells growth and rest comes out from the fermenters now rate of mass transfer will be what here rate of mass transfer this is the volumetric mass transfer for kla and this is c star is the saturated dissolved oxygen concentration and cl is the dissolved oxygen concentration at any time t because any time t that is uh, that they express as pp milligram per liter and unit of kla is the time inverse now rate of oxygen consumption how you can write that uh, by the cell it is the rx uh, if we uh, that uh, if we uh, if we consider that uh, suppose if we consider the specific uptake specific oxygen uptake rate what do you mean by that 1 by x do2 by that means gram of oxygen uh, that uh, that utilized per unit time per unit concentration of the cells now in a suppose in a particular liquid you have x is the cell concentration so how much oxygen rate of oxygen consumption will be there uh, this into x then x x will cancel you will get the rate of oxygen that is consumed in the in the mass this is called oxygen uptake so, so what when you when you use the any kind of microorganism and sparge here we call the condition is the dynamic why is dynamic because one is we are, what, what is the purpose of sparging to increase the dissolved oxygen concentration and wh what is the organism is using microorganisms they are utilizing the dissolved oxygen for the growth and metabolism so, the two things simultaneously take place that is why we call it dynamic now this is this is the equation we can we can we can write the rate of oxygen uh, dissolution or rate, rate of oxygen transfer equal to that uh, that uh, rate of oxygen transfer minus uh, uh, rate of oxygen uptake by the cells so in a fermenter this is a fermenter so two things simultaneously take place oxygen transfer one is o2 transfer and another is o2 you utilize by the cell so the difference will get you the how much oxygen that dissolved oxygen concentration increases in the system so if you say the under steady state conditions this should be equal to zero because rate of oxygen transfer it should be equal to rate of oxygen used by the cells now this equation we rewrite in this form very easily and cl equal to we can write in the this is like this now here i want to point out that uh, that in this uh, that if you if you plot i shall show you how you can plot that cl versus this uh, one uh, dcl by dt plus rx into x so what kind of plot you will get negative slope this is negative am i right this is negative slope and this slope will be what slope will be equal to 1 by 1 by kla k l a so the volumetric mass transfer coefficient we can easily determine if we if we have a slope now i shall show you how you can do that so suppose you are carrying out the fermenter fermentation am i right you are carrying out the fermentation so so uh, so let me let me go to the next slide then i think things will be very clear now this is the situation that we have suppose in the fermenter 
Well, suppose this is a fermented. You, you have media. You have cell in it. So you put media. You have cell, and this is the starter you have. Am I right? So this is moving, and this is air, air, air. You are sparging. So what is happening? That uh, as you are sparging air, so initially the oxygen concentration will decrease. Will, will 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 decrease and then attain the plateau, and when is attain the plateau, then we put the air off. If we put the air off, then what will you you put uh, this you close, so you don't allow any air to go inside. Then dissolved oxygen concentration will go, will in decrease, and why it will decrease due to the growth of the organism. So and again again uh, you put the air on here, and when you put the air on, we should remember. This should be above the critical dissolved oxygen concentration, critical DO concentration. Am I right? Why? Because if what is critical dissolved oxygen concentration? If you if you if you write DO concentration and mu, and it is like this. Now above certain concentration, this uh, mu is independent of DO, and this is called critical. So this uh, this value always should be this side, not this side. If it this side, then mu will depend on the Dissolve oxygen concentration. Then what you then then you have when you when you put the air on, then you will find dissolved oxygen concentration slowly slowly increase and at an uh, increases like this. So this is the pattern we will get. Now here uh, here if you draw a sample and find out the what is the cell mass concentration, then easily you can find out Q O two. What is Q O two? That uh, that you know. Uh, the specific uptake of the oxygen by the cell you can easily find out and here actually at different uh, point you can find out that da dl dcl by dt because the, the, this is dcl am i right this is cl this is cl so you can easily find out dcl by dt if you take a slope here any a slope is nothing but dcl by dt so, so you can easily find out this slope okay And then, then you have seen this equation. This you know. This you know. If you know everything, then you 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 can you can always plot C C L versus this at different point. You can plot, and then you can find out the K L value. Now this is exactly how it is done. This I told you. This if you plot with respect to C L, you will get the K L value. This is our uh, experimental result in our lab that we we carried out. We 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 got these results. The cell mass concentration at uh, 300 rpm. Then we find out the CL, um, the, how the uh, concentration of CL uh, that decreases with respect to time. That we can find out. This is just to find out the uh, the Rx value. That we, we can we can find out that specific oxygen uptake by the cells. We can easily find out from this. Then we plot this, and we we can we can find out the KL value. You can see that we we find out the the value is coming about 0.0243 uh, second inverse. The in the this uh, particular lecture we try to uh, discuss about the mass transfer, and mass transfer plays very important role as per biochemical industry is concerned because most of the uh, biochemical process is carried out by the aerobic microorganism, where the dissolved oxygen plays the limiting factor. So how the mass transfer take place? What is the mechanism through which the mass transfer take place? We we talk about the uh, gas flame. We talk about the liquid flame. How across this uh, gas liquid flame mass transfer take place? How it can be uh, rate of mass transfer? How we can calculate? We find out. Then finally, we we try to discuss the dynamic gassing out technique through which how we can determine the volumetric mass transfer coefficient. Thank you very much.